Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the Benedict, the Merciful, the Compassionate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, the blessings, and the mercy of God Almighty be with you. I read to you the Eid al Adha message of the President of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana on this 31st July 2020. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak. Chapter 5, verse 3 of the Holy Quran, the final revelations to mankind, the Quran al Karim. God Almighty has reminded us, I translate, this day I have perfected for you your religion, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your way of life. One quote. All gratitude is due to Allah, the Lord of all creation. Peace and blessings on the noble prophets, their family and companions. I extend Eid greetings on behalf of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana, its executives, members and staff. To you, your family, your Jamaat. Islamic organizations and executives and I ask God Almighty, the Almighty to accept from us all our good deeds. Eid al-Adha has arrived and it is a season of happiness, family bonding, bridging the gap between the rich and the poor, nurturing mutual compassion love and support for the poor, values which are important to Guyanese and the larger community. Eid is also an opportunity to demonstrate solidarity, especially since this year Eid al-Adha comes as the Muslim Ummah and the world are suffering in these difficult times with crises and obstacles. Compassion and support are needed for many of our brothers and sisters who are experiencing uncertainty, fear, pain and frustration. Coronavirus pandemic has virtually stopped the journey to perform the pilgrimage this year for those residing outside of Saudi Arabia. It has actually brought the world to a halt. This is a time of great test and requires reflection and meaningful action. Eid al-Adha, this festival of sacrifice, cannot be celebrated without remembering the patriarch, the friend of Allah, God Almighty, Prophet Ibrahim, in English, Abraham, peace be upon him. This festival commemorates the sacrifices made by Prophet Abraham and his family. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, is described as the forefather of all the prophets who came after him, including Moses, Jesus, and our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, is accorded the highest status in the Holy Quran is described in chapter 16 verse 120 as an ummah, a nation. Imagine one person referred to as a nation. This is partly because the amount of good is exemplar submission to Allah and sincerity in his worship all embodied to the degree of an entire nation. He was given the title Khalilullah or the friend of Allah. In the Holy Quran, chapter 2, verse 131, I quote, when his Lord said to him, Submit, he said, I have submitted Islam to the Lord of the worlds. Unquote. Eid al Adha starts with the glorification of Allah. His pinnacle, his total submission to the Creator. 
Our journey begins by understanding and moving through the levels of our souls. If one can overcome his or her lower desires, detaches from all material things, truly humbles himself before Allah, God Almighty, one will understand the essence behind it, this celebration. Take the best out of this Eid. This was the example of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. Eid al-Adha, this festival of sacrifice, is the celebration of the reformation of the human condition from that of servitude to other creatures to that of devotion to the Creator of all living and non-living things. Do not fall into the trap of considering yourselves better than others. Remember Allah says in chapter 49 verse 13, People, O mankind, we have created you from a single man and woman, our father Adam and Eve, and made you into races, nations and tribes so that you should get to know one another. Allah, God Almighty, reminds us the most honored of you are the ones who are most mindful of Him. God Almighty is all-knowing and He is all-aware. Chapter 49, verse 13 of the Holy Quran. Unquote. Considering Eid as a unifying factor for the Muslim Ummah, I humbly request you to join me as we raise our hands in supplication to the Almighty for His blessings and protection of the entire world and the Muslim Ummah for all humanity. Let us pray for peaceful coexistence in our country, Guyana, and the entire world. Change, my dear viewers, begins with the person in the mirror. Our actions must prove that we mean no ill to anyone and we are all part of one humanity. Each of us must be the change that we desire. Change yourself in order to set an example that encourages others to change. Verily, as God Almighty has reminded us in chapter 13 verse 11 of the Holy Quran, final revelations to mankind that he God Allah God Almighty will not change the condition of a people until they change themselves first unquote Allah in the final revelations in his final revelations the Holy Quran again in chapter 3 verse 68 indeed the most worthy of Abraham among the people are those who followed him in submission to God Almighty and this prophet and those who believe in his message and Allah is the protector and helper of the believers unquote our father prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam peace be upon him epitomized the verse of the holy Quran hasbun Allah name al wakil meaning Allah alone, God Almighty, is sufficient for us. And he is the best disposer of our affairs for us. You will find this in chapter 3, verse 173 of the Holy Quran. In conclusion, I pray that Allah, God Almighty, continue to bless us all and our families, make us people who strive to bring benefit to others, let us work on improving ourselves and those around us and the condition of those around us. Together we work to become agents of peace, instilling harmony among people regardless of ethnicity, ethnicity and creed. Let us be protectors of each other, ensuring we respect the rights of each other. May God bless our nation as we all strive for a better country, 
May Allah show us, may Allah, God Almighty, show us the truth as truth and help us to follow it and show us the evil as evil, falsehood as falsehood, and enable us to avoid it. Let us be like the great prophet, the patriarch, our father, and the friend of Allah, Ibrahim, Prophet Abraham. May the peace and blessings of God be upon him and his family. In Mubarak, in Mubarak, in Mubarak. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with you. This is the message of the President of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana, Al Haj Shahabdin Ahmad, on this day of Eid al Adha, 31st of July 2020.